the lightest cross-country hardtails. We are talking about the absolute best we can get in 2020. Uh, I went through many, 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 many brands. Uh, just as an example, Stork, the German one, didn't change for some years r right now, so pretty much outdated. Then um, we have, for example, the Bottecchia, the Italian brand. Um, they have a frame which weighs 930 grams and most of the high-end expensive cross-country bikes would have the frame uh, for about that weight. So I'm, I'm mentioning this one. That's the Bottecchia Aquila Rossa. Then Bianchi Mentanol CVRS uh, will have very, very similar uh, weight frame of about uh, 940 grams in size 43. Of course, through access, there's uh, nothing outdated here. Um, 900 something grams. This will be very, very common for the bike, which will cost you, I don't know, just about $5,000, $6,000, even more, even much, much more. Uh, I went through Steven's bikes. They don't uh, really offer something super, super high end. Uh, but I'm not sure about the the weight of the Sonora XO frame, so I'm just I'm just showing you that there's lots of brands, uh, La Pierre Pro Race uh, 99 Limited, very heavy bike. It will be almost 10 kilograms. Uh, Fell Doctrine 2020 uh, won't be super light as well. Uh, Team Elite from BMC. I was I was thinking I would find something really high-end and light. GX Eagle is the, the, the most expensive one you, you can get. Uh, then Orbia Alma might be quite light frame. Uh, don't know the frame weight, but the, the weight of the bike is about 9 kilograms, over 9 kilograms. Uh, Canyon Exceed just below 9 kilograms, 8.97. Uh, and the price will be about 60, what, $6,500. Then XTC, Giant XTC Advanced uh, in SL version will have the frame weighing about 920 grams and non-SL about 970, 980 grams or so. Uh, so this is one of the lightest, but we are not in the top right now. And then uh, cross-country bikes from uh, Scott, scale of course, Nine nine hundred something grams, uh, and the prices are can be really different between uh, like UK and United States. Uh, so make sure you check that out, that one out. Jealous, uh, that's the Radon bike, uh, forty seven hundred euros, and the bike will weigh eight point eight kilogram in the smallest uh, frame size frame size so in large medium large should be still below nine kilograms uh, so pretty good so it will be lighter than the scott scale because scott scale my friends uh, as a whole bike will be pretty heavy uh, and it will be like nine point three kilograms of course you can add just wider rims, uh, maybe tires, wider tires, and, and you get those additional grams, but here's what you have. Mm, then, we are getting to the top ones. Uh, that's the Cube, and Cannondale, and Radon will have 8.6 kilograms. Sorry, Radon was, yeah, 8.8, 8. 8, so now Cube. Uh, this is the Cube Elite C68X, the new carbon frame uh, from Cube. Uh, that will be 8.6 kilograms. Then Cannondale uh, FSI High Mode will be also 8.6, uh, 8.8 kilograms even. So a little bit more. Uh, then we have Scott, which uh, the weight you, you already know. Um, and it's 9.5 even in the World Cup uh, version without the AXS on the XO um, components. And then we have uh, KTM Myron Sonic, that will be 8.6. And then Merida Big 9 9000, really light bike, 8.4 kilograms on the XTR and Fox 32. 
then Raven 9.9 .9 from Focus. Uh, the bike won't be super light, it's due to the specs, but the frame uh, is... Uh, 885 grams and this is this is definitely one of the top right now so um, I suppose that either Focus Raven, Merida Big 9 or KTM Myron would have the frame uh, which will weigh below 900 grams but we have no data on the on the KTM and Big 9 uh, but Focus say 880 grams for day frame and finally finally two of the best in terms of the lightweight for cross-country hardtails that's the Aura Uno uh, this is only the frame 4000 uh, euros so 4500 uh, dollars or so 790 grams um, and then <laughs> something even lighter that's the S-Works. S-Works, uh, epic, they have nailed it. Uh, the frame will weigh about 760 grams or so, plus minus 5%. Uh, but uh, this bike you can have, uh, the, the complete bike you can have uh, weighing less than 8 kilograms. So that might be 7.8 kilograms for the S-Works. Uh, then uh, th for the complete bikes uh, that was 7.8 then Merida will be 8.4 uh, and then we have 8.6 8 for the KTM uh, 8.6 for the Cube uh, and then 8.8 .8 for the Radangelis and 8.8 .8 for the Cannondale FSI uh, World Cup and then over nine kilograms that's that's the rest so this is pretty much it the frame is the most uh, important here because if you're spending or your mm, sponsor if you spend five six nine thousand dollars on the bike uh, you will be able to upgrade it with even lighter components that's for sure but s works epic wins uh, aura uno they they are not very far with the uh, frame weight and then Raven, pretty good, 880 grams. Do you know this brand? Not, this is not very popular brand. Focus Raven, pretty good one. And then Merida Big Nine, 8.4 for a for a uh, complete bike, quite quite nice. So as you can see, uh, these bikes will be ranging 7.8 to 9.5 kilograms on the high end, very expensive uh, models. Uh, but here it is, if you want a super light bike for climbing, for marathons, and it can be hardtail, then tiddy, tiddy, and then what I've showed you right here. This is it for this episode, see you soon.